hi friend welcome to my channel and today i will be showing you guys how to make the most delicious yet juiciest meatloaf stay tuned you don't want to miss this all right let's get right into it so here i have an onion i'm gonna take one whole onion and i'm gonna chop it in half and i'm gonna take um a half of that onion and i'm gonna put it inside of the food processor okay then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna grab some garlic i'm gonna grab about like 12 garlics and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put them in there and then after that i'm gonna just put it in my food processor and i'm gonna just blend it all together okay if you don't have a food processor you could just chop up um or mince up a couple of um garlic cloves and some some, um onions okay and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put that on the side next i went ahead and i got two slices of bread and i'm just tearing the bread apart and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm put one cup of milk into the bread and the reason why we're doing this is because we need the bread to absorb the moisture to help the well keep the moisture inside of the meatloaf if you don't do this your meatloaf is gonna be hard it's gonna be like a brick okay if you could throw it at somebody and you could give them a concussion so you want to make sure you do that part it is very crucial that's what's gonna make your meatloaf juicy and moist you gotta take that bread you gotta chop it up like i did and you got to put some milk in there, okay? One cup of milk. And you got to go ahead, do it like that. Act like you're making baby food. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to set that to the side. Next, we're going to go ahead. We're going to grab a bowl. And we're going to start adding our meats, okay? I'm adding one pound of ground beef and one pound of ground pork. If you don't eat pork, you could add one pound of ground turkey or just do um, um, beef, okay? But I would always recommend using more than one kind of meat to get the best kind of meatloaf. All right. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to use one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to use two tablespoons of the onions and um garlic that i chopped up earlier we're going to use a half a cup of bell peppers and we're going to use two eggs we're going to use one one teaspoon adobo seasoning and then we're going to go ahead we're going to put the baby food the, the the baby food bread milk mixture into there okay then we're going to go ahead we're going to put one teaspoon of seasoning salt and we're going to put one tablespoon of better than bouillon okay and you guys do not forget that i will have the exact measurements and a recipe with the instructions and everything in the description box below have no fear your girl freddie is here okay then here i'm adding one teaspoon of black pepper okay into that mixture then we're gonna go ahead we're going to mix everything together you guys and the reason we added the eggs is because we want the it's for the texture we need the right kind of texture for the um for the meatloaf and we need it to to stick together unlike you and that one friend you plan your whole life with and now they know where to be found <laughs> but let me mama be a shot and mama business so we're just gonna go ahead we're gonna mix everything together until they become one as a unit and everything is incorporated then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna add some um barbecue sauce okay i'm using sweet baby rays honey barbecue sauce you could use whatever kind of barbecue sauce you want okay and i'm gonna put two tablespoons of that into the meatloaf it's just gonna add a little sweetness to it. it's gonna give it a little bit of zing it's gonna it's gonna make it taste real good friend trust me okay so i'm going ahead and i'm adding two tablespoons of that then after that i'm gonna go ahead and i'm just mix everything together make sure all the barbecue sauce get everywhere and it's well incorporated into the meatloaf okay then after that, we're gonna add a little bit more seasoning okay because we want to make sure that our meatloaf is well seasoned and it is not bland okay so we're gonna go ahead and add one fourth teaspoon of salt and we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of slap your mama okay and don't come around here talking about something that's too much seasoning friend uh, we don't got time for that we don't got time for that susan that's why your food be tasting the way it be see it be tasting it, it be tasting like you use aquafina pure life zeppa hills and dasani to season your food baby we don't do that over here so go ahead and add all that season i'm trying to tell you you will have the best meatloaf that you ever did have i'm trying to tell you i'm trying to tell you but friend if you don't want to add it and you want to be sexy and do what you want to do by yourself that's your business all right then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna grab a pan and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna spray our pan um our oven has been preheating at 350 degrees okay so then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put um the meatloaf into the pan once we put the meatloaf into the pan we're going to start making it into a shape of a log okay so that it can look like meatloaf we're gonna go ahead we're gonna shape it okay we're gonna go ahead we're gonna give it some plastic surgery because right now it look like a little bit of a mess and we're trying to make it look a little bit good so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna reconstruct it okay and we're gonna make it look like a log we're gonna go ahead we're gonna keep moving it like this until it look like how you want it to look you don't want to be too thick but you want to be too thin but you want to look kind of good okay so we're just gonna go ahead and do that and um 
I felt like it kept spreading. Like your legs keep doing for that dude that can't even give you $20. <laughs> Ooh, child, it's not my business. So this is what I did to help it hold its shape. And this is if you don't have a meatloaf pan, you can always just make it in a meatloaf pan. It will be a lot easier. I do have one, but I want to use it. I wanted to show you guys how to make it just in case you ain't have one, okay? Maybe you ain't got one or maybe you ain't trying to get and it. And that's your business, Listen. okay? So I went ahead and I got some aluminum foil, you guys, and I folded it in two so it could be a little bit strong. Then after I just go ahead and I put it on the side like that and I was pushing it, okay? And I was shaping it, as you can see. Then after I'm going to take the axis and I'm going to fold it on the side like that. This right here is giving it some um, structure. It's holding its structure and now you won't have to worry about the meatloaf spreading, okay? It won't spread. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be good. It, it, yeah, like, yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to hold its shape, okay? It's going to hold its shape, okay? It's going to stand home business, okay? All right. So, once um, it's, you, you do that, it's going to be good and the meatloaf is going to hold its shape and everything. Then the meatloaf is ready to go into the oven. So you're going to put the meatloaf in the oven in the middle rack at 350 degrees for 60 minutes, okay? Which is one hour, you guys, okay? That is what you're going to do. And this is right before I put it in the oven. Boom. And while it's in the oven, we're going to start making our glaze for the meatloaf. So I went ahead and I put a half a cup of the um, Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce in the bowl. Then I'm going to put three tablespoons of ketchup okay and you gotta use this kind of ketchup because not all ketchup tastes the same i don't even like ketchup like that but each ketchup has their own taste so use what kind of ketchup you like okay then i put two tablespoons of brown sugar then i'm gonna put one teaspoon of yellow mustard the yellow mustard is gonna give it like a little zang like a little tanginess to it okay but don't add too much because you don't want it to be a little bit nasty and i don't even like mustard like that so if you add too much it might not be too good so add how much i told you then um i need a little little bit more um sweetness to it so i added one tablespoon of the barbecue sauce and i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna mix everything together you guys make sure everything is well incorporated and at this point the glaze is phenomenal we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take that and we're going to set it to the side okay boom then by now um your meatloaf should be done baby and when you take your meatloaf out the oven this is how it should look oh baby look at that meatloaf look at you could tell it's so juicy look at the juices just running from the meatloaf baby look at them juices baby you could tell that meatloaf is juicy this, you see this meatloaf right there this meatloaf is not a brick this not the kind of meatloaf where you could throw it somebody they're gonna have a concussion baby this is soft it's gonna be juicy baby you could already tell okay so i went ahead and i took off the aluminum foil because we know no longer need that it has service purpose then we're gonna go ahead we're going to take a spatula we're just gonna clean our meatloaf because we don't need all that excess de debris or whatever that came from it all that excess meat all that excess oil all, all that stuff we don't need that okay we want our meatloaf to look pretty we don't want we don't want it to look a little bit nasty we want it to be appealing to the eye so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna move it from this dish to another dish i did use my meatloaf drippings to make um some gravy for my mashed potatoes okay so i'll have another video to show y'all how to do that but this is the meatloaf right now okay now we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take our glaze and we're gonna put it all over the meatloaf the glaze that we made earlier make sure no piece of meatloaf is left behind make sure that meatloaf is well glazed okay because the glaze is what's gonna really you know set it off that's what really makes the meatloaf that's what makes the meatloaf taste real good is that glaze okay so make sure it's well covered like this boom Put it back in the oven on the middle rack for about 20 minutes, friend. And when you take it out, boom, the meatloaf should look something like this, baby. Woo, child. Look at that meatloaf. That meatloaf, no, it look good, child, okay? And then for a garnish, we're going to go ahead. We're going to sprinkle a little bit of parsley on there just to make it look more sexy, to make it look appealing to the eye, okay? And you guys, let's go ahead and give this beautiful meatloaf a moment of silence for the beauty that it holds. Ooh-cha, ooh -cha. yes. Look at that meatloaf. Look at how juicy. You seen them juices just running from the meatloaf, baby. That's how you know that meatloaf is nice and juicy and delicious, baby. It don't get no better than that, baby. This meatloaf right here is going to be so good in your mouth, friend. If you ain't like meatloaf before, you're going to love meatloaf. Now I'm trying to tell you, this meatloaf going to change your life, baby. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like 
comment, and go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye. Until next time.